This building is part of a larger project of two complementary buildings that were being constructed at the same time that was to merge three separate colleges from 11 different campuses onto two sites. Uh, this one is the Maritime School and the Engineering School, uh, which have um, synergies between the disciplines. The, the site is actually the site of the existing uh, Nautical College, and which was demolished to create uh, this building here. It's on the, the southern edge of the city centre of Glasgow. It's a wonderful site right on the southern banks of the River Clyde. And it's interesting that for years Glasgow has either pulled away or you know, turned its back on the Clyde. And we were very, very conscious in our design to try and not to do that and actually enliven the Riverside Walkway which runs the full length of the site. The, the, the building contains the uh, nautical school and the engineering school. Um, it's a, a series of um, general teaching spaces which are in this large building with the atrium, some specialist spaces including an engineering hall, uh, a working ship's engine, um, some highly technical spaces for simulation suites and um, those are deliberately blended through the plan of the building so that the students will bump into each other and have the benefits of cross-discipline learning and opportunities across disciplines to join in with each other's studies. The, the building has a very modular expression and um, there's a great tradition and culture of that in Glasgow with the, uh, from the 19th century, the foundries of Glasgow that made cast iron building facades. So these facades were exported all, all around the world and there are still remaining some fantastic examples of those prefabricated facades throughout Glasgow's Victorian heart. Uh, we wanted in a contemporary way to reflect that in the design, to ground it in its place and also to project a civic stature. That civic stature is really quite important. I mean, the, the building that we've created here is a very strong civic statement within uh, Glasgow. It can be seen from uh, all parts of the city so that you know controlled civic expression that we actually uh, created on the building was something that we strive very very hard to achieve. There was a nice there's a similar ethos between the firms, but actually there was a nice sort of creative tension between the two practices, and actually I think what you see today is partly a result of that. I think that creative tension was interesting. Uh, I think that's what sets the building apart from what Michael Laird or Reichen Hall would do. There was a little bit of rub, but um, creative tension can be a good thing, and I, th I, I really think that it was a, a positive in that it egged us all on to do the best that we could.